everybody, uh, Josh Oper, pro staff member of Run and Arrow, uh, here to do a review video on my new Bulls Bay 2400 Bay Boat. Um, we're down here in the beautiful Florida Keys. We've been fishing and snorkeling and spear fishing for about four days. This is our last day here. We're gonna take you guys along. I just wanted to show you how versatile of a boat this is. We've had this thing out in four foot seas out trolling, uh, out past the uh, ledge. We've been sitting on patch reefs fishing, using it with all our scuba gear and stuff. Um, we can fish the bay. Uh, this thing has, I believe, don't quote me on it, but an 18 inch draft so you can get a super shallow water. So if you want to fish for a bonefish or permit, um, man, you just do everything with this boat. So we're going to take you along today. We're going to show you how versatile it is. Um, come on aboard and I'll show you guys what we got. Bulls Bay had a 22 foot boat. They stretched the uh, mold out a little bit and they did 24 foot, which gives you an extra step right here up. So it's not such a huge gap. Also gives you a little bit more storage. That's one of the things I love about this boat. My old boat was a 21 foot, loved it, but did not have near the storage this one does. And storage is big. Cause like down here in the Keys, man, you can do everything. You control for a little while. Again, you can go to Patrick's, you can snorkel. And I have all my gear in here, everything I need for the whole day. So come on aboard and I'll show you. First, up underneath the front seat, this boat has two live wells. This one I'll use for shrimp and smaller baits. Sometimes in South Carolina, if I'm fishing for cobia and I need a bunch of manhaden, I'll put a, maybe a dozen in there and it'll hold. The one thing I don't like about the design um, of this front live well, I think Bulls Bay maybe could improve a little bit, but the tower on this one, the back one has one that screws in. This one just pushes in, but while you're running, if you're running in some chop, I've had that thing pop out. That's not real convenient. You have water coming over the edge and then your bait's pulling down into the uh, drain hole. So, but you know, minor problem. And then you have two, these can be either fish boxes or storage. It's one of the things I want to do in this video was show you with all my gear in it. Um, a lot of videos, you really can't tell how much room you have um, on your review videos on your boats. But I mean, I've got a huge dry bag in here. Underneath that, I've got more uh, spear fishing gear in there. Of course, the food for the day on that side. And you can also put ice in there and throw your fish in there if that's what you want to do. The step the storage underneath it I've got all our snorkeling stuff for the day and you can see it's deep um, that's enough snorkel gear for probably three four people uh, I got my lobster nets in it as well and this storage right here is massive um, I've got my huge uh, trolling or I'm sorry my huge tackle box in here net in there um, all kinds of buckets you keep a cast net in there it goes really really deep I got a fish bag in there um, and then on this side this does come this is your lock storage on this side um, but you can keep all your rods in here um, I've got uh, my spear fishing equipment in there I got my guns in there got a couple extra rods I got my gaff in there uh, net in there um, it does come equipped with the uh, rod holders. I take them out because I think this is a lot better because I can take my buoys and throw them in there as well. And in the front of the boat, I equipped it with the 36 volt Minkota trolling motor, the Tarova. It's got spotlight capabilities, so when I'm out on the wreck, um, I drop that thing in, it'll hold me all day long. I love it. Uh, the only other real complaint I have about this boat, it does have this anchor box here, but it, it is a, too short. Right now I have the anchor in there, but you literally, every time you put the anchor and stow it away, you have to pick up the rope and the chain, shove your anchor in there and drop everything behind it. A little bit of a pain in the butt. They could have went a little bit further back with that. And then the other thing is, is uh, in order to equip this, I had to cut a four inch hole right here so I could get my hands underneath to get the bolt. If Bulls Bay would have just maybe trimmed that a little bit, you could have got your hand up in there to be able to mount a trolling motor. But those are just, again, those are minor issues. Uh, now to the back of the boat. Of course, it's equipped with a Yamaha 250. I'm a big Yamaha guy. I love those engines, great warranty on them. 
And this thing boogies. Uh, we run loaded down. We've had this thing pushing 57, 58 knots. Big, huge release bin for live well back here. You keep ton of bait if you're out doing um, um, tournament fishing. If you want to throw some fish in there, I've had some big redfish and trout. Super, super, super important to have baits and enough baits when you're out fishing. I love this thing. And then, of course, you got a battery box back here. Courtney's got her, her little raft for the day so she can float around. And then on the other side, you have just some added extra storage. I'll keep all my leader, some extra bait in there on the back of the boat. It does have a, a dive platform with a ladder. Um, also comes equipped with, uh, um, I had them put trim tabs on it. And the other thing, again, storage is big for me because I, I, I do all kinds of stuff when, I'm, when I take the boat out. I'm an all-day kind of guy. But I've got trolling rods up top. i still got an open one. I've got two shotguns right here. Um, I'll put my gaff here later today. Um, those are all my trolling rods for the day. Then I've got all my spinners off the back of the, the seat. Really nice bolster seat on it. The seats do move up and down. So if you just want to sit down while you're riding, or if you want to lean back, you can do either. Uh, I had them install the Garmin uh, 123. Got all your rocker switches right there, trim tabs. Throttle's a little bit touchy, um, but I also got a 250 on it. Um, Clarion radio system. I really like this right here. We use this for all our cell phones. Got extra storage up here and just some pre-rigged um, um, bottom fishing rigs there uh, does have your charger ports for your your phone right there also has a 12 volt charging port there and then one also here so nice cup holders that's the spot lock device for the trolling motor it does have a dual battery switch it, it's just loaded it just does everything for us now let me show you what this 2400 bull space got with a 250 yamaha on it you ready let's do this Just got him to the boat. Boom, another black fish. There we go, baby. That's number three. Here we go. Look at that. What you got? That's awesome. Okay. A little peanut dolphin. Let's see if anybody else comes. We'll leave him in the water for a second. Let's go ahead and go under the water and show everybody what he looks like. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. We appreciate um, all the support you guys give us. We're proud to be out here doing these hunting and fishing videos, these review videos for you. And please don't forget to swing by our website. We've got amazing decals you can throw on your coolers, your trucks, whatever you want to. We've got hat, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, uh, hoodies. Continue please to support us. 